This is the heart model. The four chambers. This flap here, open it up and you see the right atrium. Open this one, you see the right ventricle. Open this one, you see the left atrium and the left ventricle. You see um, a couple of these, you see the valves that separate the chambers. This valve here, since it's on the right side of the heart, is the tricuspid valve. And this one over here on the left side of the heart is the bicuspid valve or the mitral valve. These are both collectively called AV valves or atrioventricular valves because they separate the atria and the ventricles. Looking at this side of the heart on the right side, you see the right ventricle again, and you have the valve that leads to the pulmonary trunk. This is the pulmonary semilunar valve. On the left side of the heart, you have the left ventricle, and if you look up, up in here, I don't know if you can see it or not, can you see it? This here is the aortic semilunar valve. You have to, let me move this one over to the side. You see the light up there? Let me turn it a little. Okay, yeah. Okay, the aortic semilunar valve is up here. Okay, so those are the four valves. Okay, the structures that you're responsible for knowing on the heart. We have the bottom of the heart called the apex. If you open the chambers here, you see that the ridges are in the ventricles. Those ridges are called trabeculae carnae. The stream structures on your AV valves are chordae tendinae. The chordae tendinae are attached to the walls of the ventricles and those muscles that hold them there so tightly are called papillary muscles. Here's one here. You can see another one here. You can see a great big one here in this left ventricle. There are three layers of the heart. You have the outer layer. Out, outside out here, you have the um, epicardium, which is also called the visceral pericardium. The inner layer, where the blood actually touches the walls of the chambers, that's the endocardium. And then the muscle layer here in the middle is the myocardium. So any of the middle part where the blood would not be able to touch is the myocardium. The interventricular septum, inter means between, ventricular means between the ventricles, and it's a septum. This right here separates the two ventricles, so all of this right here is called the interventricular septum. It's where a contraction um, it comes down the interventricular septum to the apex and contraction starts that way to push the blood. So that's why you need to know the interventricular septum. The fossa ovalis. The fossa ovalis, it, um, it actually originates from the foramen ovale in the fetal section, but you can see that this right here kind of indents here in the right atrium. Um, that's the hole that is covered up whenever a person is born. That's the fossa ovalis. And come over here, you have your um, pulmonary trunk and their aorta, those are two arteries, and you have a ligament between those two arteries, and it's called the ligamentum arteriosum. The ligamentum arteriosum. Okay, the last structure is this structure here that these blood vessels lie in between the atria and the ventricles, and it's called the atrioventricular groove. If you actually um, dissected the blood vessels out of the atrioventricular groove, you'd have like a ditch there. So um, the blood vessels don't lie on top of the heart, they lie embedded in the heart because of the atrioventricular groove. Okay, I believe the conduction system is next. You have five parts of the conduction system, but only four parts are seen on the model. If you open up the right atrium, right here where the hinge is, you have the sinoatrial node, the SA node, which is also known as the pacemaker of the heart. Here, I think that's it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here um, is the AV node. The atrioventricular node is between the atria and the ventricles. Okay. If you open up both doors here to see the ventricles, you do not see the bundle of his, but the bundle of his would reach from the AV node to the right and left bundle branches here. So it's embedded in the heart, deeper in here. So you don't see the bundle of his. But this is the right side of the heart. This solid white line going down through here and coming up the sides of the ventricles is called the right bundle branch. This solid line here is called the right bundle branch. The one on the left side is called the left bundle branch. 
Okay. If you look closely at your bundle branches, you see these little branches off of it. It looks like little Y's or little twigs or something off of trees. Each one of those is a Purkinje fiber. You have those in the left ventricle and you also have them in the right ventricle, Purkinje fibers. If you were to put bundle of his on the test, how would that be? Would you say I would that? not put that on this test. Um, I would put it more in lecture and say, you know, just do the order of the conduction system. Okay.